good morning in the last session we have seen introduction to artificial intelligence and we have seen a method called as turing test to find whether the machine is acting like human or not so in this session we are going to see a topic known as problem formulation so by the word definition itself you can uh, know what is problem formulation so formulating a problem so whatever a problem is given to a machine the machine initially has to do this four task to solve the problem see the problem can be either uh, to throw a ball into a basket or a problem can be either to sing a song or even to dance so the problem can be of any ways but the steps to solve the problem initially will be these four things so let us see what are the four things that is needed to solve a problem by a machine so first one is very important that is the initial thing define a problem so whatever the problem is given first we have to define the problem stating what is the initial state and which one is the goal state so as i told you to throw a ball into a basket the initial state will be a man or a machine standing in a place or in a room called as room a and the goal is to throw a ball into a basket so whatever the problem is first we have to define what is the initial state and what is the goal state secondly analyze the problem so analyze the problem in the sense uh there will be different ways to reach the goal so we have to see what are the possible actions are and what are the ways in which we can reach the goal for example the same example uh, of throwing a ball into a basket see uh, i can either run towards the basket near by the basket and reach near by the basket to throw the ball into it or from the place where i stand i can throw the ball into a basket so there will be different ways to reach the goal that is ball into a basket so that we have to analyze so the second step is analyze the different possible ways to solve that particular problem third one represent the knowledge base so kb is nothing but knowledge base so whatever the uh, uh, state we have that has to be represented into knowledge base so knowledge base is nothing but a memory of a machine so if i am standing at a place uh, at room a na you can represent it as at person a standing at a room a see if i am walking means walk within brackets person a close the bracket so the person a is walking so you can represent like this walk person a it means person a is walking okay throw if you see the action throw basket if you see the ball is thrown into the basket so like this whatever the state we have that state has to be represented into the knowledge base so that the knowledge from the machine can process from the knowledge base and give us a solution so that is the third state representing the different states into the knowledge base of the machine so that the knowledge the machine can process and give us a solution and the last one is the final step that is choosing the best solution so as i told you the second step it analyzes what are the possible solutions are there among the possible solutions we have to choose the best solution so these are the four steps that is needed to solve any problem and hence it is called as problem formulation so now we'll see an example for formulating a problem so i have taken an example of traveling salesman problem i hope you remember this traveling salesman problem so if you see uh, i have made a condition like a is said to be an initial state and d is said to be the goal state and we are going to formulate this particular problem a person who is standing at location a 
has to reach the destination D. Okay. So the first step that is redefining a problem. So uh, where here we have to set what is the initial state as well as the goal state. So as a first step, the initial state initial state is set to be A, and the goal state is set to be D. So this is what defining a problem. Secondly, we have to analyze the problem. That is, what are the possible ways are there to reach the solution from the goal A. So if you see, the one possible way is like from A, B, C, D, where the path cost is 1, 2 and 3. The other possible way is A, C, D, A to C it is 6, C to D is 1. So 6 plus 1, 7. And the other possible way is A to D, the path cost is 5. So if you see there are 3 possible solutions uh, from, uh, from A, no, a person can reach uh, the goal D. So among this 3 possible solutions, we have to find which one is the best one. Okay, so that is step 4. So let us see, so step 3, la, we have defined the problem, analyzed the problem, like what are the possible solutions are there. Now, the third state is representing the knowledge base. So representing the knowledge base, for example, in this traveling salesman problem, you can represent the link between each nodes and the weight or the cost for that particular link. For example, if you see A to B, the path cost is 1, A to D, the path cost is 5, A to C, the path cost is 6, B to D, the path cost is 1, and C to D, the path cost is 1. So representing the states, initial states into the knowledge base is the third step. And fourth step is to find the best solution. We already know, we have already analyzed the problem. Like there are three possible solutions, whereas the first one, the path cost is three. The second solution, the path cost is seven. And the third solution, the path cost is five. So among these three solutions, which one is the best? Yes. The first path that is A, B, C, D is the best since it has the lowest path cost. So that will be the solution to this particular traveling salesman problem. Okay. So not only traveling salesman problem, whatever the problem is given with this four steps, we will be able to find a solution to a problem.